All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide, trips deep. Pros next, go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Ready. What's going on everyone? Handcap24 here from Huddle.gg. Today's video, I'm going to show you a secret hot route that you've probably never seen before or know why it pops up if you have seen it before. And we're going to show you why we love it and what we're going to attack with it in order to make sure that you have a use for it, okay? So what I'm going to do here is first teach you how to get this and why it happens, okay? So if you look at my play art right now, which is look at the wide receiver, I'm going to motion them in, okay? When I motion them in, I'm going to put them on a streak and you're going to see that there is this outside release route. Something I absolutely love, you've probably seen some videos in the past that I talk about like gun doubles with a tight end doing an outside release and how we can easily beat cover three with it. And I'm gonna show you how that's gonna work here, right? Now, more importantly, why does that happen, okay? The reason why it happens is that the defense is in a base align type of um, coach adjustment, right? They're got, they got these guys to where no matter what they do uh, when it comes to any type of zone, they're not gonna move. It's basically to show a disguised look, right? So whenever they're in that, when you motion a player to the tight end spot, you're gonna have an opportunity to get this route, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is go one step further. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk about, it's not just like an empty formation. It could be something like trips, uh, you know, tight end flex, tray flex, whatever it looks like, right? So I'm gonna call scat. I'm gonna move the tight end. See how there's nobody attached to the line, right? Um, next to those tackles. So I'm gonna say the A is in a flex position. I motion him to where he's now in a tight end position, right? Basically right off the, 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 um, the tackle. I now can go ahead and put him on this route, which is just a streak, and he's good to go, okay? Now, something you need to know is that you have to do it after they settle. So if I do this to where I go ahead and I put him on a streak as he's moving, it's not gonna auto do it for you, okay? So what you can do here is you can put him on a flat or put him on any route and then go ahead and put him on a streak. Once he's settled, it'll work. Okay, so if you don't get it the first time, you probably put the streak too early. You gotta make sure that he settles, okay? Now, this 100% works when they're in coaching adjustments to where they, they start off with baseline, right? What if they don't start off with baseline? And, you know, they do something like this to where, I'll go to my original play so you can kind of, we can talk about that, right? Say they start off like this and they're like, you know what, I wanna, I wanna go to baseline, right? If they go ahead and settle, you go ahead and move your guy, and once they're in that base alignment, you're going to get it, okay? So it's about where they end up, right? It's not what they start in, it's what they end up in. So if they call base align, most of the time people are going to stay in baseline. If they are not in baseline and they want a baseline, then you can see that you can still use that route once they've settled into their baseline and they're totally, you know, in their place, okay? So what is the use of this? Why do people, you know, what do people usually baseline with? And let's talk about that. So the first thing most people baseline with is going to be dollar, whether they're running DB Fire 2. Some people do it out of spinner. Um, so you're going to be able to use it there. Um, it's also going to be something that people do a lot when they do in Bickle Nickel Over G or Nickel Over or any of those defenses to where they're going to try to get that Tampa 3 look and be able to get it, right? A lot of people do it when they're in, say, 3-3 three, three Cub, even Nickel Over, where they're just disguising and saying, you know what, I don't want you to know what I'm in as a covered shell. So let's just go and show you how I love this against cover three, right? So right here, it would not have worked right away unless I baseline them. Let me just go come out and baseline so we can, you know, discuss it from its original state so we don't confuse you. Okay, so here's baseline. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the Y over, okay? And once I got him settled, I'm gonna put him on that streak. I'm gonna put the X on a C route, or really any route that's going to keep the left corner occupied. I'm going to put the A on a streak, and then I like to put the B underneath just in case the user goes and tries to cover the Y down the field, that you have something to dump them off to. But you're going to see here that the delay of the Y is going to get down the field, right in that seam, easy throw, and you're going to get some easy one-play scores when it comes to seam touchdowns. I showed you this concept out of doubles, showed you out of different things, um, where the routes were already there when it comes to the tight end. Now that you have your ability to hot route your own route and do it, it's really, really powerful to beat cover three. My favorite thing against is Tampa, the Tampa three, right? It's where people will go ahead and make sure that they got um, three safeties on the field and they're gonna call a cover two and drop the middle, um, the middle safety in order to make sure that um, you know, they got three deep. And what they're gonna do there to make that work, let's go ahead and take this look is um let's do here let's go look at this right so they got those guys in outside thirds as the safeties and they got a middle third so you got basically a cover three shell 
but it's done from a different alignment where the guy's coming from the middle, you know? So what we're gonna do is go ahead and show you this. And we're gonna put this um, streak on the field, right? And what we're gonna do here is we're going to be one step ahead of our opponent, always, right? So if they're not playing match coverage, it's gonna work really, really well. You're gonna have easy throws. If they are playing match coverage, we have to worry about the vert hooks and how they match players, right? So in order to make sure that we're gonna have a success play on this no matter what, we're gonna put the X on and out, and that's gonna take away the left vert hook. We're gonna put the uh, B on a drag, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna take away the right vert hook. And we're gonna put the A on a streak, and we can leave it like this, okay? What this is gonna do is gonna give us our best opportunity for the bomb play if we do not feel that the user is going to take the Y down the field, okay? And if he does, not a big deal, we have the B underneath, okay? Now watch what happens here. Guy goes down the field, you have that ability to throw it there, and you get yourself an easy one play score against your Tampa three. Now, what most likely, if somebody's savvy in one of the cases, they're gonna drop alignment, right? And why would they drop alignment? It's because they're gonna try to say, you know what, if I'm gonna go cover that guy down the field, right? If I'm gonna use this vert hook, and I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm not gonna let him you know, beat me down the field, right? So let's just set up the same exact way we just did it, right? And what they're gonna do here is we're gonna put this guy on a uh, streak and they're saying, you know what? I'm gonna drop alignment, whether that's a, um, a hook, uh, I mean, or a um, quarterback spy or a bluff blitz, we'll do a bluff blitz. Um, that guy is going to help me with the underneath coverage, right? So when I start seeing that, I'm gonna do a drive concept, right? All I'm gonna do is put the RB on a smart route it in. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna give us multiple options. We're gonna have the Y up the field if they don't follow us. If they follow us, like I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you that they will. Let's just say that the user followed them. Now what you've got the ability to do is have the A drive everybody back. The B is going to take away the three rec uh, and the vert hook underneath, meaning the vert hook's not going to follow anybody. And the three rec is going to follow the B, leaving the RB wide open in the middle of the field. So you basically look at this. This guy's come over here, drive concept, easy throw, and you're good to go. So, like I said, we want to always be one step ahead of our opponent when we're when we're play designing. That's the thing. So, what we're going to do here is literally just look at this Y. He is our guy, right? We want to make sure that he settles. And you can see here that I did it too early, so I'm going to go ahead and um, reset it. And again, our cover three bomb, our, our Tampa three bomb, depending on how you want to do it, right? It's, it's all base aligned, right? Just go ahead and set it up, and you're going to see that you're going to have a lot of success against it and get people out of that defense or really just make sure that you figure out how to make it. So you see there, I didn't set up the Tampa three, right? I said that was actually a Tampa two, right? So you wanna make sure that they're in that that outside third and make sure that that's what you're looking for because that's really what is gonna um, determine whether it's gonna be it. So you really, because attacking cover two, you got no pull routes on left by doing the setup, right? You wanna make sure that they are spreading those guys out and once they do, easy throw and you can see how this is going to be a big play for you every single time so using this secret trick is going to really help you out when it comes to cover three any type of cover two um or tampa two that they turned into tampa three uh type of defense and give you a lot of success so i figured i'd show you that just as a little bit of a what's in the game that you might not know and how you can utilize it for your best ability